Such an important milestone for the breeding season for thoroughbreds. Of course, that's when they start the breeding. We've just mentioned a couple of broodmares there. And for Dali, they've got an unbelievable lineup. It is a great time of year. It's great, obviously, to welcome people back to the farm, but it's a very exciting time leading into September 1. We've got some wonderful horses. Animo, as you know, is probably the best horse in training in Australia at the moment. He was so exciting in the wing stakes. He looks like a, a superstar wait for age horse in the making. He's going to be contesting all those big races through the spring and through the autumn, heading into a stud career uh, in 2023. He's by Street Boss, who shuttles here from America. Been a wonderful servant for us, has Street Boss. He's by the same sire as Winx is. Lonro is the people's horse. You know, he's a national icon. He's a hero. Uh, you know, people come and see him. Just racing fans, you know, phone us up. They wanted to have their photo taken with Lonro. He's a, he is a marvellous horse. He's been a, you know, a great stallion. He's a horse of the year, champion sire, and he's becoming a champion broodmare sire. He is everything you want in a thoroughbred. Exceed and Excel is a remarkable horse. Um, he's been here since 2004. Um, he's uh, been a great servant to the start. He's our flagship stallion, standing at 132,000. He looks magnificent, age 22. He's full of uh, sprite. He's, uh, he's lively. He's just a, a wonderful horse and a great, great stallion. Bivouac was a very good horse and a very good crop of horses. Group winning two-year-old, he won the kindergarten stakes on championships there at Randwick. Blake Shin got it from that day and just told us how good he thought he was and he proved that as a three-year-old. He's electrifying, straight out of the gates, on speed. He, he broke two lengths clear. He was a really fast horse. Microphone was the champion two-year-old in Bivouac's year. He was the son of Exceed and Excel as a two-year-old. He won the size produce at Randwick and gee, he was really good that day. He was a best two-year-old in a really, really good year, and uh, he's got yearlings going to the sales next year. We're really excited about his prospects. Stallion handlers and horse people get very close to their horses. Um, they all love them, and, and Dean, who handles Lonro, he just tears up when you <laughs> hear you start talking about it. And, uh, they all do a terrific job. You know, we've got a, a great group of people who look after these horses, and you see the way they're presented on this occasion, but it's not just this occasion, it's every occasion. Uh, every time they turn up, they just magnificently behaved, they've got uh, soft hands, they respect them, um, and the stallions respect them back. Wonderful story. How yeah. amazing did Lonro look? I know, Lonro reminds me of Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> An icon? <laughs> An absolute star. <laughs> he just loves parading too. Oh, well, there's a gelding coming up that reminds me of you. Its name is Character for Dali because you are a good character. <laughs> now, the wet track's going to be unfortunate uh, for Character. It's going to be an outsider around 40 to 1 coming up, but uh, a quick break. The tramway not far away.